Hi, I'm Dr. Kalyan. I'm from Hyderabad. I've done my DNB orthopedics from Bangalore. During my uh, post-graduation time, I was confused uh, how to plan my career ahead. Then I started working as a registrar in uh, Columbasia, Bangalore. And eventually I got interested in arthroplasty and arthroscopy. Then I was started researching in about fellowships, various fellowships over the country for arthroplasty and arthroscopy. Then I got to know that most of the uh, fellowships are unrecognized. Only few centers are, or few hospitals or a few universities and FNB uh, does recognize fellowships. Then I, uh, I, was start, I started preparing for FNB uh, and I cleared, uh, I secured a good rank in FNB 2023. Then I would have been allocated uh, Anup Institute of Orthopedics, Patna. Then uh, I have no clue about Patna and Anup Institute. Then I asked my consultant, Dr. Mukul Mohindra in uh, New Delhi, Savdajang Hospital. He suggested me to take uh, Anup Institute uh, and he said that it's a great institute. Then I joined back in uh, May 2023. It's almost one year. So after coming here, I met Dr. Uh, Padmashri, Dr. R.N. Singh, sir. He's the chief consultant here and Dr. Ashish Singh, sir. And he's MCH Orthopedics from UK and he has done uh, his revisions fellowships from various parts of Europe. Then eventually, uh, basically about uh, FNB, FNB program. Uh, FNB program uh, started in 2023, last year. Uh, we have two seats, uh, me and my colleague Dr. Akash currently as working as a fellow in arthroplasty here. Here we have a robotic uh, platform for all arthroplasty cases. And apart from arthroplasty, we get to do arthroscopy cases, spine cases and trauma and all uh, pediatric cases. Usually uh, we plan our day. Our day starts uh, with uh, planning for the day. Then we head towards uh, rounds in patient management where we uh, get to manage all the patients from all the departments. Uh, it could be an arthroplasty patient, a trauma patient, then scopy patient and uh, spine patient. We see we manage all kinds of patients and we have grand rounds, uh, various kinds of discussions happening around uh, and uh, spend some time with the patient and explain the patient. Basically, the patient counseling is very good here. That is what I have learned during uh, the rounds going happening in the hospital. Then after rounds, we head towards OPD. OPD, a uh, special point about OPD is that here it's a kind of tertiary center where patients come from various parts of the country and most especially uh, northeastern uh, states of the country and the neighboring states and we have uh, foreign uh, patients as well. Uh, regarding the cases and varieties, uh, different kinds of cases come here as being a tertiary center and most of the complex cases come here. We see the patients uh, in OPD, we, man we manage the patients, we see and uh, discuss uh, then and there itself with Dr. Ashish Singh or Dr. Aryan Singh sir, uh, making our thoughts clear about the case and uh, how to go ahead with the case. Regarding surgeries, initially I had uh, a doubt how about hands-on as we all do have PGs and post-PGs. We used to have this uh, uh, feeling uh, whether we'll get hands-on or not. When I came here uh, in May 2023, I was new to the entire robotic platform here. Then I started learning about robotics. How does the robot help the patient and help the surgeon and what advantages we do get from the robot uh, and uh, the core uh, concepts are elaborated with the robotic uh, planning. We see the virtual uh, placement of the implants, whether it could be hip or uh, a knee. Uh, we, get to, we get to see the planning of the patient one day before only so that it would it usually it, uh, an overall concepts wise uh, many lo ma lot of concepts get cleared with uh, pre-operative planning itself then apart from uh, robotics we have lot of exposure in arthroscopy uh, spine and pelvic establet trauma this is what i like the most because our consultant is he's specially trained in pelvic acetabular trauma and we do we get lot of cases 
of pelvic vestibular trauma and regarding academics see academics teaching and all is then and there itself either it could be opd or inpatient uh, management or on the ot table intraoperatively wherever the new things arises a new question arises then and there itself we will have a brief discussion with the consultant and that will be our teaching spot so we are very happy about that uh, uh, because the environment is also uh, uh, student friendly here there is no boundary for teaching whenever it is possible consultants will uh, give a free hand to learn and initially i start uh, regarding hands on uh, initially i had to start i had to understand uh, understand the robotics then eventually later on i started opening joint then after some time i started putting in plants and step by step it basically starts with step by step and right now uh, over the one year i am confident uh, in opening the uh, confident of doing an independent tkr or uh, hip case in uh, independently uh, manually and can that means conventionally and in robotic platform so that over the one year there is a, this is a journey where uh, i was going uh, from a uh, place nowhere and i have reached this place where i can independently operate that is about the hands on that is very great actually it's not about arthroplasty in arthroscopy also we have we have hands on and in spine and trauma as well we get independent trauma cases to do as well so regarding uh, the staff and all when when i came here uh, food was an issue that my consultant had observed my consultant and madam uh, they have observed that we are facing some food difficulties then eventually that got sorted out and accommodation was an issue and the management uh, gave us an accommodation it was it's a separate independent block uh, it's not a kind of sharing room so there it's uh, away from the hospital so basically uh, the management knows how to take care of fnbs fellows from various parts of the country so accommodation is not an issue then later uh, then regarding uh, the staff and our staff the working staff uh, the ot staff the nursing team they're all very friendly whatever we tell them they'll follow and if they have any doubt they'll get back to us it's it's always an interactive session rather than a you know, dictating kind of or uh, you know it is not never like a senior or junior uh, kind of relationship here it is always friendly and uh, whatever it is it is always uh, guide uh, it is always towards the betterment of the patient that is a goal of this hospital so i really thank uh, the hospital to introduce fnb course into this hospital because um a lot many centers have uh, gone through i was uh, into research uh, before joining here most of the centers if it is fnb arthroplasty then the fellow gets dedicated himself to arthroplasty unit and but here uh, all the arthroplasty cases we we go ahead and arthroscopy we do spine we do trauma we do and so that's why we get uh, uh, we are getting an fnb degree along with uh, getting exposure from all other various departments and uh, uh, special case discussions with dr rn singh sir that is very uh, quite really helpful for us and uh, ashish sir regarding academics sir has a very deep thoughts about uh, research and academics he is very well planned from 2020 when the robot came into this institute this institute is one of the first of its kind to establish a robot in this country so from then uh, dr ashish singh sir had uh, thoughts to start a research paper then from that time start sir started collecting data of all the patients whoever goes through robotic platform and all the data is preserved that is helping us right now because now we are writing papers almost two papers have been submitted from the time i've come here and i'm making a paper and we are looking forward to publish it the overall as a fellow this is something like a buffet uh, it is not like one go out or what whatever it is uh, there is no boundary for me to learn here and at any point of time i can i can see opd i can go to ward i can uh, go to ot there is no restriction or boundary so i'm very helpful and uh, we uh, this hospital also offers 
fellowships, observerships, uh, where uh, students from different parts of the country, they can come here, uh, get exposed to the robot, work with us, know the uh, work uh, culture here. Because Dr. Ashish Singh, he has been working in uh, Europe uh, as part of MCH program and uh, Strikers uh, robotic surgeon. He has introduced uh, almost whatever we do here is according to international standards and whatever like uh, assume that whatever happens in UK happens here and patients are also very happy because even I, I, I was observing patients doing very well uh, post surgery and uh, the pain management here is very good and these techniques now uh, eventually I started observing learning and I feel like they are really good they are helpful for the patient and patients leave the hospital by smiling. That is very helpful. So overall, uh, during the past one year of my journey, I'm very, uh, uh, I'm uh, no, no words to say, but uh, <clears throat> this hospital has given me a lot of things to, uh, as a fellow to learn, as a person to uh, become, uh, and <clears throat> sir always guides us to plan ahead for the next two years, three years, four years. How should you, uh, how should one look into yourself for the next five years? So we have presented our papers in uh, various na international conferences like <clears throat> Anup, Conf Anup Master Course 2023, uh, Current Concepts of Arthroplasty in Ames, New Delhi, then Indian Society of Hip and Knee Surgeons recently in Kolkata. This all adds on to the academic point of view and the CV point of view also. Overall, I'm very uh, happy to stay with the team. Um, I'm looking forward uh, for the next years to come. I hope this hospital uh, will emerge as one of the best in this country. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of uh, Anup Institute of Orthopedics, Patna. Thank you.